I really do look like the Fonz if you look at me from the front. All right. Oh, yeah. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Captain Shack here. And I'm Morphologist. Yes, you are. And Wasted Space here, folks. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> he almost said Wasted Space again. Hello, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. So, today we're doing a special kind of a kind of video. A welcome back, I want to say, to Morphologist. Hi there. Hey, Hi, man. A literal couch chat. Although, only one of us is allowed on it, apparently. Yeah, well, you don't want to sit he, like me, though. He's not technically sitting, actually. Let's let's change views here to, to basically show what's going on. Um, he's, uh, I don't know what you call that, what that is. Some sort of, like, zen floating. Um, yeah. This it's is the, the squeeze position. <laughs> uh, the point of today's video is to announce some things about the group survival series. Uh, and, and talk a little bit about this, the group survival, the Space Engineer series. I mean, you guys have been asking about it quite a bit now, and um, we got some news. So, you know what, Mr. Wasted Space, would you, would you tell the good people what we know so far? Well, what we know so far is finally the reprobate has returned, and so we can actually get about a bit of plans for the future, and we're going to approach things a bit differently this time, I think. Basically, we're going to make sure that we do a bit of pre-recording in advance, because you guys that followed the series will know things got a bit hairy at times, and some weeks we had fun like you're seeing with the chair here, where it just, Space Engineers said, nope, I not mean, playing ball this week, and you know, we've suddenly got something planned that relies on being in a chair this week, and then this is what you get, so... And then chairs cease to work. <laughs> mm. so, so that really talks a lot about what we went through this entire first season, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that, I mean, <laughs> that season finale, I mean, that would be the thing that sticks out in my mind, is the lighting in the last oh, yeah. episode. <sighs> yeah, I think maybe we should talk, I, I think we could be a great point to start on, really, because we really wanted to get, yeah, we, we had like this whole great base that we had spent so much time creating. Really, guys, we spent a lot of time on it, and in the end, we really didn't get the effect that we wanted because it was just, the, the lighting was so terrible. You'd have terrain completely black, where cubes, like a... Basically, anything that you created was, like, glowing in the dark. It was so terrible. Oh. And that was Not the whole one point of that build that we did, was to have this cool, like, almost aliens-esque creepy area that we were going to be walking through these the tunnels and the corridors, and then we got in there, and, like, everything was either well-lit or pitch black with no real lighting effect on it. It was terrible. Well, we went to the extent... Basically, I spent a while voxeling out that map because I'm kind of the voxel guy, which is fine. But I spent a while after that trying to solve this even by, like, building... It had a huge box around it underground. Like, huge great box encompassing everything underneath. Just trying to make the bit <laughs> a bit darker. And, and even that really... I mean, it did help a little bit, but even that barely made much effect. And you can just see when you go down there, it's like, why is it daylight underground? Yeah, we really tried to kind of offset the problem by adding lights in certain areas to make it seem a little bit more believable with the way it was lit. Like the spotlights that we had in the, in that big main, uh, like, first room that, that we were in, or actually the room that you fell into, Wasted. Like, that, that was not supposed to be that well lit to begin with, but we really couldn't find any other way to make it look believable. Very yeah. frustrating. Basically had to do that. Now, th to bring it back, uh, we are going to be pre-recorded. So hopefully we won't have any of those issues. And there's now a, it's, I'm just getting back into space engineers after kind of a long hiatus since the season break. Um, but there's now, you can tell me a little bit more ways. So there's like a, a dev build and a stable branch. I mean, technically, yes. It's yet to be seen exactly how this plays out because so far we're on the first iteration of stable branch in the, they froze the public version at that point and said, right, that's now going to be stable branch once we get to the point where we finally update it. But for now, we're just sitting on that version at that point in time. And then we've got the dev branch, which is supposedly where all the updates get filtered through and tested. It should work out well for us because it means we've got this nice, stable platform that's not going to change week on week. We're not going to load it up on a Thursday to record and suddenly you can't sit in a chair or Ed 209 is exploding violently the second he touches the floor. Um, <laughs> that definitely happens. Or the crane is oh, randomly crane. incapable of carrying any batteries. 
Um, yeah. You spent so much time on that crane, <laughs> so much time, and you were like, it was working at noon yesterday. I remember those 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 Skype messages. Mm, mm-hmm. They were they were rage filled messages. Rage filled messages, <laughs> including screenshots oh, of like, my. look, here's the picture of it lifting the battery twelve hours ago, and here's the picture of it as an exploded ruin now <laughs> it was so sad because you were so excited the day before about how well it worked you were like surprised at how well this thing was operating and the, it was patch day of course so Blop. i should have oh, known you know, at that point you know what that reminds me of that that drill that drill platform that we had oh my god did that thing cause a ton of problems for us <laughs> it like couldn't decide on the mass that it wanted to be or when it would fly properly and it would get to a certain altitude and just be like, you know what? Flying, I'm not really digging it. I'm going to stop now. And it would just fall. <laughs> it wasn't even anything to do with power, power, was it? No, it had nothing to do with power. Like, we, we thought it did. And then we were like, you know what? Well, let's just run with that because we there's no rhyme or reason for why this thing is behaving the way it's behaving. But, oh, man. that It was still fun to build it. And the drill itself... Uh, I think it was a later patch actually made it a way more stable, but it 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 worked pretty well once it was end, locked it, down. Yeah, in the end, it was it worked well. But when we needed it to work perfectly, <laughs> that's when it didn't. You Record. Mean, I mean, when, when we were recording it the first time, that's when it's falling to out it. of the sky freely yeah. at its own will. Yeah, I mean, that's a good summary of that. Which is why next one's going to be better, and that's cool because it means we can focus on getting the quality better. Because I think we've all been pretty blown away by that first season kind of what it developed into which is really awesome you know no one's going to say we started that season with the intentions of it becoming what it did i think we all started that with the idea that it would be a fun little side project and by episode 21 that's that's not a side project that's a full-time job you're doing on top of your normal full-time job it did kind of blow up you guys yeah i made that intro video that very first five minute video and it was like this i put a lot of effort into it but that was just to to kind of like have this intro and what i had pictured when we had discussed the series was like let's do this this series it'll be fun survival we'll have some story in there and then everybody just ran with it yeah i mean i think it's like wasted would do something really cool or i would do something really cool and then wasted with like okay i gotta do this now and then be like oh you know what while he's doing that i should do this and it just started escalating (laughs) to the point where where we got to the end it was like we felt like we were making a like a full feature film (laughs) but that's what was great about it it was a great learning experience like i I pushed myself pretty hard to that series and i have to admit it's because it did become almost competitive it's like no i want i want the best video this week I Let's do it. Yeah. Bring it. I want. Way. I want to find some way of getting the the niche into this. So I'm going to do a 20 hour long creation to make some silly clouds that come across that really oh. wasn't worth it. Yeah, that, oh, that, that intro cool, shot. You like. I don't know how to do this, and then you spent like a <laughs> day and a half just learning how to make that scene happen. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember no that. But impact. you, you um, learned a lot from that. Good. Like um, you're you're uh, moving basically titles for your episodes where they would stay you know with the terrain while the camera moves i mean that that's great and you sort of through this sort of competitive competitive atmosphere that we had created we started to develop our own sort of editing techniques and each i think everybody can po- probably say that each of our episodes are always different at least the way that we edit them you can tell who had done it which was very cool Oh, it was just a fun experience to push each other like that in something really creative that people were clearly enjoying as well you know, you, you do all that stuff, you push a bit harder, and, and then you get something cool out of it. And now we know a lot more, and it's cool. I mean, it meant that led through to the last episode having, like, 3D animated little GPS markers in it and so on. You know, why yeah, not? The, the more fun. skills that we picked up, the more that we could do to tell the story. Um, and the story's got more, a little bit more complex and a little bit more interesting, I think, as we went. And the nice thing is, since we're, we're, we're getting started on this, we're going to have these a few of these pre-recorded ones and... They should be more stable. We'll be able to do more in this next season. Um, now, I've talked to you guys. You want to talk about like when the next season is going to start up? Like when can people start expecting to see the first episode? Hmm. I don't know. Do we know that for sure? We know we're going to start recording, but I mean, I, I would yeah. imagine. I, let, let's let's throw a ballpark figure that you're going to start seeing the first stuff hitting at the end of August. Yeah, I think that's safe because what we have planned on doing is basically doing a lot of the work ahead of time, which gives us a little bit more time to polish the episode or go back and 
add you know a scene that we thought was necessary basically just just to overall increase the quality so that you can enjoy the experience all the more i think that's really important especially because we found ourselves last season because we were kind of behind and and on some weeks having to stay up extremely late to get something done the the day after and i, I would have to say that the episode and even the story in some sense suffered a little bit it could have been better in some areas i don't think we did a perfect job but of course how can we possibly do a perfect job our first time around doing something like this? You guys, if you don't don't know, keep in mind, we were recording these. Sometimes we would be working on Friday night. We'd be up all night to get the... I'd had an 8 a.m. release time frame on the channel for my episode. And yeah, it would be all night episodes, especially those last few. We're almost mm -hmm. every night, every time, an all-nighter. So I think we're going to get it down this time so we don't have to do that. We'll have a little bit more time to actually get the episodes out. Get them the way we really want them and then get them out. Yeah, I, I, mean, I don't want to have to do what happened in the finale again, oh, if I'm honest. Yeah. S no sleep. Same. Same. And actually, it, it caused us a lot of hard, well, heartache and headaches from having to do it either on a Thursday or Friday because, as you know, patch day is on Thursday. So if something would change, it would totally screw up what we were doing for recording. Like, there was all these problems that we were just... I won't go too much into it. We were just talking about it. But basically, that's kind of where a lot of the problems came from, to be honest. That same week was the animations got borked, so you kind oh, of yeah. see that in the episode. There was there was quite a few bugs. Yeah, we won't go into the details of it. Pretty boring stuff, but that's why you know when you see something really like questionable in the episode, it's probably oh, the because something was broken. The hands oh, that would the shove hands. the rifle like <laughs> up your character's oh, rear, like he's gonna shoot himself the in the hands. <laughs> Especially at that final episode as well. Oh. Like we all spent hours and hours and hours on that. We were building up to it, and then you get there and you just watch the hand. And you're like that. What, uh, I have no words now. Um, I don't. I don't know what to say about so this. So I guess people have got dislocated arms. This episode. There we go. Done. Moving <laughs> on. Nothing you could do about it. We recorded that entire episode, oh. last episode twice because of trying to get around some of those issues. So there was an episode that was my episode, and then there was an episode that was Morphs and Shaq's episode that were recorded on two completely different servers because it was the only way to make it work. Fun time. But yeah. the end result of all this is, this is not next season. Next season is done in advance, so we can up the quality, the story is going to be better. We have got a good story for you folks. And not only that, but I think it's probably also worth mentioning that, you know, we're also probably going to be looking at a bit more help than the first season round. Because the first season, whatever you guys might think, there were a few other people involved that really helped out with stuff like flying potatoes, for example. You know, potatoes did get flown. You don't, you don't do that shit any other way. But most of it was us three and just us three. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Uh, that, that was a big issue for us, you know, because we have two AI essentially in our series. And well, nobody, when, nobody flies R5. I mean, he's his own man, really. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, potatoes <laughs> is as well. But sometimes potatoes derps out and really needs like a guiding hand to That's get what happens potatoes when somebody to straps do. a battleship cannon to him. Uh, hey, it was a good idea at the time. All uh -huh. right, it seemed only like a bad idea. In after no universe or reality is potatoes and battleship cannon a good combination. Noted. If it happens again, <laughs> I do have methods of dealing with. We have oh boy, ways of dealing but the with fans like potatoes, so let, let's not have that happen. Best character on the show, other than R five. Other, yeah, sure. Other than R5. Other than R5. He's the real star of everything, to be honest. We all know this. Oh, there, boy. I guess that gives you a bit of a, a heads up as to what's coming, like when, and hopefully with better quality, better story, and more goodness for you folks. There we there go. One, go. More, one, one more. Th one more question that I'm going to ask the audience about if they want to see. So we've been sitting here, we've kind of BSing about the series a lot of the past stuff i mean even before we started recording we were talking about the the shenanigans from season one and all the things either we learned or the problems we had or just the stupidly hilarious stories that came up and i was like you know wouldn't it be cool if we did a director's commentary and i mentioned it as like um it was mentioned as this maybe a stream where we watch a few episodes in a stream and then we take that and we maybe put it up on the youtube channel or 
we actually just you know pre-record our if you don't know what a director's commentary is you get a couple you get the director who made the movie or whatever it is and they talk over the footage as the as the video plays and we just kind of tell all the stories about what we experienced while making this series if you guys were interested in something like that uh, I think what I'll do is I'll put a vote in the description on my channel, so over on the XP Gamers. Uh, and you know what? If you guys want to just like go ahead and put that link into your guys' descriptions as well, and we'll get a vote on if people want to see that released and maybe how they would like to see it. So if there is a live stream format uh, that will eventually become a video, or just straight to video uh, director's commentary where we all just kind of BS and have a good time and talk over the this first season of Space Engineers yeah. Group Survival. And I think that it's an opportunity for you as a community to also ask us some questions as well. I think we could have a good section where, you know, we could, you know, ask us about certain characters or we can't reveal anything about plots, of course. We want you to figure that out. That's part of the fun of the series. But I'm pretty sure, like, revealing some behind the scenes shenanigans fun would be perfectly answerable, in my opinion. Potatoes AMA. That needs to happen. Sounds yeah. like a plan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, potatoes. Oh, potatoes. man. We ask me anything. I love it. Oh, yeah, we've got some stories. I'm not sure how good so. responses you're going to get. <laughs> Something about umbrellas, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> no responses guaranteed. Quality well, not guaranteed. That sounds like a plan, so let's hit that up, get some votes in. Cheers, folks. All right, guys, Indeed. if you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channels for all of your Space Engineers story goodness. How about that? Like my outro there? Yeah. It was sweet, that like... Just yeah. so good just, butter. Just smooth as silk. Except I've just <laughs> noticed we forgot to get rid of the medical bay that was supposed to be, like, we used to color it's, our suits it's, at the start. It's, it's just it's fine. in the station at the back. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. Um, yeah, it's been good. We'll Looking see forward you to the next season. In the we'll next see you guys season. in the next season. <laughs> Later. Yeah, yep. Yeah, thanks, guys, for watching. And if you're interested in the hype train in the background, we don't have the station up yet, but we do have the train up on the workshop, so you can go and download that. That was really fun back from our Patchology episode. So anyway, guys, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Hua! All right. Sweet. Did babies. everyone clap? Mock. Did you clap? Uh, yay! Back on normal territory. Everybody. <laughs> I know, right? It's right, like you never left, Morph. <laughs> Morph, are yeah. you actually recording? I am actually recording. I thought we were recording. Are we? We are recording. Are you recording? Yeah. Yeah. Are you recording, Wasted? Because me and Shaq, we, we, we just had this like really clear understanding that we've started recording. Yeah, I'm recording. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just putting my GoPro off my window as well. Oh, well, that man. seems like a, a you problem. We're recording. You know what? In the middle of recording, I'm going to go mess with this thing. That's what I heard. No, oh, you know what? I've done the it. dust on the sill here doesn't look quite right. I'm going to just dust I've the sill it. off, guys. Just wait there. for a second, okay? It's done. Morph, are you going to run around and start changing the colors of all the objects around us? Because, you know, raisins now? Well, Is that's that, what I do. Then it would that's really be a full... And then we got to get B-roll of it. That would be a full Space mm. Engineers episode. <laughs> I, I think, just in general, this room doesn't have much zen about it. We need to work on it. We need to put lipstick on it. That's what we need to do. What are you doing? <laughs> He's, he's getting, getting back where he's always been, just a little bit in your anus. Oh, shut up, you. <laughs> you, you get over there. Somebody do the intro. <laughs> <laughs>